So in early 2020, right before Corona happened, I went to an unseemingly store and in that un unseemingly store I talked to a guy about opal stones, I remember. And the opal stone, you know, is somewhat not that valuable except the Australian ones and the black ones. And we kept talking and kept talking about that. And, and then he said, I have, I forgot something. I have something for you. You might be interested in. And basically he pulls out this huge rough stone, three rough stones. One of them was huge, 300 carats. And I was like, this is fake. This is fake. This, this, this can't be real. Right? So I, I look at the stones and I'm like, this is a very sophisticated make fake. I'm still interested in it. How much do you want? 90 euros. And I said, well, I think about it. I come back two days. I think it wasn't two days. It was e even a week or two weeks. I think it was, I came, got back into the store and I bought the biggest one. A couple of days or weeks later, I bought the second big one, the, the, the middle sized one. And then I came back. I want the smallest one, but he told me he sold it regardless of that. I started cutting, I got, a, I got a Dremel and I started cutting the 300 carat rough. When I cut the 300 carat rough, I realized there's really, this is really not usable for jewelry in the sense of that it was too much inclusion. It was, it was too cloudy, you know, the stone was not quality. But I kept doing it and it was a long process. I think it was around up to a month. It took me, you know, a couple weeks, three, four weeks. And I ended up with this tooth looking emerald, you know, this cabochon tooth shape. And I, I was amazed by it. I was like, this is a museum piece. I had doubts that the stone was real, which led to me taking the stone and putting it away, you know, for some time and not believing in the stone anymore. And all, I think somewhat all of my other stones that I had at the time, because I was not interested in it anymore. Regardless of that, I took the stone out brought it to my diamond dealer and he told me he could get someone to facet it into a real gemstone, not just a cabochon. So that didn't work out because I didn't buy the diamonds I, I ordered and I just, he just gave me the stone back. And the day after that, or I think a couple days after that, I, I looked under the microscope into the stone again and I found the three-phase inclusion. The three-phase inclusion is 100% proof that this is a natural earth mined emerald. And when I saw this, I, I, I had hope again. I was amazed. I was, it was insane for me to see that because seeing that inclusion, that was the 100% proof that I just made a couple thousand bucks of 90 euros. And I was happy. So I bring the stone, I, I was considering, you know, what, what do I do with this now? After a couple weeks, I give the stone back to my diamond dealer and I tell him, get, get your best cutter, you know, and, and make something out of it that's more valuable than what we have now. So he said, it takes one week, it took four weeks. And I end up with this huge 16.65 carat emerald cut emerald and another tiny one that's three carats. And I mean, tiny, it's a decent size, three carats. 16.65 carats and I'm very happy that that's the story you know and the stone is basically it wasn't oiled it, the, the rough was already oiled you know and after the cutting it was not oiled I guess and I did it myself and I got into it which is very interesting and now I, this is the next step now the next step is getting a vacuum pump and, and making it a professional oiling, you know, making it somewhat just as good as a professional oiling machine does. I oiled the stone, it looked at least 20 to 30%, if, if not even a little bit more better. And that's, that amazed me also that, you know, you take this rough cut stone, which was already pre-oiled, and it's it's not looking too good and then you oil it yourself with it which is heat just heat and, and doing it several times putting it into oil and heating it up and letting it cool down and it looked like 30 percent better that amazed me i believed in something nobody else believed in that's how i got the stone it's pretty simple that's why you should believe in yourself because nobody believes in you 
even if they pretend to believe in you, most likely they don't believe in you most of the time.